Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance, where I show you how to make the most likely repairs you'll need to make in your lifetime. If you'd like to get the latest videos, subscribe and then hit the little bell icon right at the subscribe button and it'll notify you of any new videos when they're released for you. Next thing about preventative maintenance is it puts things on your schedule rather than, rather than catching you later. Connection. So on this one I've already pulled the disconnect. This one here. Going after some preventative maintenance, inspection, and testing. Tired one. Tired, tired. Hands are tired. All right. Discharge the capacitor. Capacitor holds a charge in it even after the power is disconnected. Um, notice the wheels up here look in the best shape here. I right, reposition those somewhere a little better. Five and a five. Got a feeling I'm gonna be changing these out. Just looking at them. Decided to go after these capacitors 7.8 way off and the five 1.15 way off. Okay, so we're bad all around. Pros, they've been so far much better. So the subco capacitors just were going out too soon on me. So and I found I can get multi packs of these. So it's a 35 and a five. Um, and a five. Multi packs of these are much cheaper. So I've been doing that. And here's a little five, a little different shape, but. 
I got I ordered the wrong ones back in it, but they'll work good for these. I'll save the other size ones for indoor blower motors as uh, it's more critical. These I've, I've been cable strapping inside here anyway, so uh, which is what I'll be doing today. Just adding that cable strap right here. right there. Or five here. trying to get the, some fan motor blades off. They can be really tough. We wound up getting them off, but it took both of us. Using two of them that were a real struggle. Okay. And this way we've got them ready for the future, so it's kind of nice. Saved a couple blades ready to go. Nice and tight. Much better summer. Just tighten the strap down. Okay. Now we're back in business. Contactor looks good. Wiring looks good. We're all set there. I need to order some electrical tape and I'll fix up those other deals. separate mission, but at least this one is now done for the wiring. This one's missing the cover here. We can add this back on. Done deal. Nice and cold. Compressor 
moved quite a bit when it started. It was crazy. Oh, looks like the bolt's not bolted in back. Just the ones in front. Yeah, it's a little scary, but all right, it's a different story. At least now the capacitor's in phase, so it's better for that. This one, I'll take a peek at the, the hole for the compressor. Oh, it's right there. Close. Third one in the back has nothing. No bolts. Wow. I bet if I had a pointed bolt, I could put that in uh, much easier. That one that has still got a flat head on the bolt, so I might uh, come back to this one. Right. Like that, that got, I didn't like the way it moved when it, when it kicked on. So, let's see what I can find for that. Whew. All kinds of fun today. All right, get it at me. Okay, got a couple of different bolts for this. I uh, got a pointed one, which is what I think I need. I can use the, I got a big washer here too. And I think with the pointed one, I should be able to get this to dry through. With the, the flat edge on that one, wasn't able to get it started down through the, the wheel. So I'm hoping that, oh yeah, went right in. Oh, and it, and it actually tightened, so that's great. So I'll probably do the same on the back bolt as well, because it's missing uh, two of them. Uh-oh. It actually did not... Oh, let's see. It seems like it slipped. But there's enough on the end that I can put this one through. Let's see. Yeah. Try to give this a few turns and see if it'll hold well enough or not. It has a flat head on it and a bolt. Let's see if it's long enough to go through. There it is, and it did go through. So now I can put the bolt on the other side, and what's good is this one, I can use my screwdriver to tighten it on in. Yeah. So it's always a way. going to make this much better because I, I literally saw the yeah tighten down good the through bolts literally saw that compressor rock forward when it started so now that won't happen and I'm going to see if I can get it through the back back there as well. Yeah. Got it through. So I'm going to switch that one out with the uh, 
Oh shoot. Here's the original. I can't get the original. Okay. So I'll run this one through. right through. Oh, and I got it nice and tight. There we go. Okay. And let's see if I can add it. Oh, no, I can't because it's right through the bottom. Anyway, that's better than it was. It's got, you know, I lost it all this time. It's a done deal. Get the bolts through. At least now it has a the bolts on the back of it. At the end. All right. A quick search on my YouTube channel of whatever your maintenance needs are. You should find a bunch of different material that will be helpful to your maintenance needs. Interpret a letter to a very dark room Where a man sat in an iron cage The man to look upon was very sad He sat with his eyes looking down to the ground his hands were folded together He sighed as if he would break his heart What does this mean, Mr. Interpreter? Why don't you talk to the man? What are you? I am what I was not once What were you once? I was once a fan of flourishing professor in my own eyes, in the eyes of us I once thought I was fair for the celestial sea And had even joy at the thoughts that I should get there But what are you now? I am now a man of despair And am shut up in his in this iron cage I cannot get out, no I cannot, but how did you come into this condition? I left off to watch you be sober, I laid the reins upon the neck of my lust. I sit against the light of the world, the goodness of God. So hard in my heart that I cannot repent Is there no hope for a message as you But that you keep yourself in this iron cage No, none at all Why the son of the blessed is very pitiful I have crucified him to myself afresh I have despised his person I have despised his righteousness and I have counted his blood on a holy thing. I have done despite to the spirit of grace. Therefore I have shut myself out of all promises. There now remains to me nothing but threatenings, dreadful threatenings, fearful threatenings of certain judgment and fiery indignation which shall devour me as an adversary for what did you bring yourself into this condition 
fallen lust, pleasures and profits of this world And the enjoyments of which I did promise myself Much to your life, but now every one of these things bites me It gnaws me like a burning one, but Can't you repair and turn to the Lord? Strengthen me, my love, my king, too. 
walk uprightly. I can't do anything right with 